Oh, hello there. Welcome to Conversations with a Wounded Healer. I'm your host, Sarah Buino. I am a psychotherapist. I am a wife. I am a dog mom. I'm an Aquarius sun sign, Libra moon. No, Libra rising. <laughs> Aries moon. I don't really exactly know what all of that means, but I want to know what all of it means. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. Today, I'm going to talk about joy because I recorded a ton of interviews today and I'm feeling a joy now that I didn't feel literally last night. It's been a rough week. Let's see. How do I say this without being a jerk to myself? See, this is how I practice self-compassion. You are hearing self-compassion in real time because I wanted to say something like I'm eating poorly and I'm doing these things that are hurting myself and blah, 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 blah. But essentially, I'm experiencing pain right? Like that's the plain truth of it. I've been experiencing a lot of pain this week and it's almost easier when the pain is like serious, right? Like when you're like, oh, there's death and destruction and breakups and ah, you know, and when that happens, it's almost easier to point to that pain and be like, look at the reasons I'm suffering. But the pain that I've been experiencing this week has been a lot of it due to my developmental trauma. I've been talking a bit about NARM, this neuroaffective relational model, and it's really helped me understand what developmental trauma is. And so let me tell you, I know we're going to talk about joy. I swear we're going to get there eventually. This is a stream of consciousness, people. This is real stuff. So developmental trauma is essentially a failure in the environment in our very, very early life where a child ends up blaming self rather than blaming the environment for the failure. I think that's the easiest way to explain it. And all of us have some developmental injury. Let's just say that developmental injury. Some of it is trauma for some of us and, and for some one might not qualify that for themselves. But anyway, developmental injury. So a lot of what I've been working with this week has been that has been these really deep wounds, these feelings of not good enough. Every once in a while, I get myself into these positions of like, oh, nobody likes me. I don't have any friends. And in reality, it's pretty easy for me to like if I were practicing CBT, I could challenge that cognitive distortion and tell myself, well, that's not true. This is why I don't like CBT. And people get really pissed when they hear that people who are super into CBT. But the reason I don't like CBT is that's not good enough for me. I can't just look at these cognitive distortions and tell myself that everything's OK and feel OK. For me, it's been more helpful to recognize that my relationship to this feeling that I'm not good enough is what's most important and to practice compassion for the fact that I'm experiencing that feeling. So it's been a painful week. I've been struggling with some of this developmental stuff. And then today I did three interviews and I just got to have amazing conversations. And that is the coolest thing. <laughs> it's the coolest thing about my job. It's the coolest thing I think about life. When I get to talk to people who are excited and passionate about the same things that I'm excited and passionate about, it brings me joy. And it just made me think of what really makes us happy. Let's first, let's differentiate happiness and joy. I think they're two different things. And I don't know whether this would bear out in any sort of research or whatever, but this is the way I look at it. I look at happiness as a product of something exciting, right? So happiness to me is birthdays and Christmas and this vacation you're excited to have and this meal you're excited to eat or something like that. So happiness is something that's tied to like an external circumstance. And I feel like joy is the product of gratitude, of really tapping into what makes your soul sing. And that's what happened for me today. I got to have three really deep, meaningful, spiritually fulfilling conversations that not only made me feel connected to the people that I was talking to, but it really it made me feel connected to myself. And I think as I'm learning more about this developmental trauma and the healing that needs to happen in order for that trauma to not take over so easily is that it is all about the relationship and we can't heal in isolation. We must do this work with others, be witnessed and be a witness and in the hopes of feeling less alone and feeling connected to self. So that's what I experienced today. And 
I guess my challenge for you today is really thinking about, do you experience joy in your life or do you experience happiness, right? So does the feeling of joy bubble up when you get the things out of the way that tend to block the joy, right? Because I think it's kind of just this organic thing that just happens when we're able to free ourselves from the things that get in the way of it. Or are you experiencing happiness tied to external circumstances? And if you aren't experiencing joy, what can you do to take a look at those things that are the barriers to that? For me, that's what therapy is about. Therapy is not about tools to cover up the pain that we're experiencing. It's about what information does that pain have for you and what is it created and and how can we shift that relationship to that pain? Because there's the suffering that is thrust upon us by the outside world, and then there's the suffering that we just heap on ourselves based on what's happening in the outside world. So I am wishing joy for you today. I hope that there's something in today that you're able to practice gratitude for, whether it be big or small. I hope you're able to be in connection with someone today because I think that that's what's truly important. I love that you're connected here. Really what I wanna do these podcasts for is to have these conversations so that you know you're not alone, so that you know that you're not the crazy one in the world, that I'm right there with you and that all of my guests are too. So cheers to joy and cheers to connection. I think that's all I've got for today. Thank you as always to Andrea Clunder and the Creative Imposter Studios for editing, to Liam O'Donnell for the album art, and to Ben Mueller for our theme music. If you found me today, you'll know where to find me again. So until next time, bye-bye.